we have the Boys Golf DVC Championship. Matia Valley looks to capture the title after winning the DVC Regular Season Championship. All the schools are set for the big event at Blackberry Oaks. We're on hole four as Matias Aman Shaw has a nice drive over the water, through the wind, and to the green. Shaw pars it in from there. Up next is Central's Harvey Wang, and he also put some fire on that ball, landing it on the green. He's not done yet as that drive results in a birdie for the Red Hawk. He acknowledges the camera and shoots a one under on hole four as well as scoring a 77 on the day. Matias Arjun Vias also off to a good start, sinking a par on hole four. Mustangs are looking good early. Hole 10, and here is Shaw again. This time he is going for the birdie, and he's got it. The Mustang shoots an 80 on the day, but is that enough? Nikwa's Mason Densman is in line for a par, and it slowly rolls in. The wind won't stop that putt for the Wildcat. Hole 12, and Wabanzi's Salil Kanduja is lining up for a long birdie. He puts enough power on that, and it goes in. No surprise as he continues to impress as a sophomore. 16th hole, and Central's Ben Anderson is in the sand, but gets a nice chip to the green. Anderson pars from there and goes on to score an overall of 79, second best for the Hawks. Nico's Alec Cross also sinks a par on the par five hole. He goes on to score a 78, which is the second best for Nico. Hole 18, and Nico's best score comes from Densman after sinking this par. The Wildcat goes on to score a 77. Arjun Vias also ends his day with a par, and he is pumped after the strong finish and the Mustang's second best score with an 83. Naperville North's best score comes from Jackson Zaganik, and he shows some love to our cameraman after finishing with an 85. Wabanzi's Kenton Esch has some trees in front, but that's no problem as his drive lands right onto the dance floor. Esch goes on to par, scoring a 75. Esch along with Neil Gupta were in a playoff for the best individual score on the day. Gupta chips his ball onto the green, but gets knocked out by one stroke. That one stroke came from none other than Salil Kanduja, who absolutely drives this ball to the green, and you can guess what he does next. It's a birdie, and that's how his day ends, with a 75 after the playoff. He's all hyped up after that hole, and he should be, because Wabanzi Valley takes home the DVC title after a 2-3 and three regular season in the conference. The main thing that's going through my mind is definitely uh, how we leapfrogged from fourth place to actually winning the conference, like the whole conference. So, like, that's a bigger, like, I'm just really excited of, that we were able to do that, and I, I feel great that all of us were able to contribute for the team. It's uh, tough when a team like us, we got a lot of talent and didn't really show it to our full potential throughout the season. And then uh, at the Aurora City, we, sh we showed us and each other what we have, and we really came into full force today. We pulled it together to where it mattered most. We knew we needed to come through and during playoff time and play well, and we all, we all banded together and played, played great golf, so it's not much more you could ask for. The last time we lost an event was our match against Mateo. We've gone like three weeks without losing anything, so it's de definitely a positive after the start of our season. But, I mean, today it came in second, which is also a positive, but, you know, going down the road, regional sectionals, hope we can get down to state and keep playing well. There's a lot of times on this course where you don't really know where your shot's going to land or where you really should be aiming, so it was nice knowing the course already because then you're more confident off the tee box. Today, more than most days, it's just focus on each shot, one shot at a time, you know. There's already so many variables to consider in each shot, you know, the wind, which direction it's blowing, and just the trajectory. You can't really focus on more than one shot, so just staying in the moment is really important today. Uh, we can still shoot well as a team, but it just it, it happens where we have days where, you know, no one really plays, no one plays their best, so just have to be prepared for that. If we feel great, we know that we're able to contend and, and beat everyone else at the regional like we did today, so we're feeling great and in great spirits for next Wednesday. 